Welcome back, panelists. Yes, thank you. All right, now, we covered one park, but we have three more to go. Yes, and I do. think it's time to talk about Epcot. It's my favorite. Your favorite. <laughs> <laughs> you both know it's my favorite. Yeah. And I'll go back to the thrill rides again. Yes. You all know that Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind has a special place in my heart, of course. <laughs> I just love that attraction. It is so much fun. Honestly, one of my favorites in general, all throughout the resort. But my favorite part about it is the music, yes. I think. And my favorite song to get is September. You can get yes. one of six. Mm -hmm. I won't say what they are. I'll just <laughs> say my favorite is September. What is your favorite? It's also September. It was the first song that I listened to when I went on a ride for the first time. And I... You're just, lucky. I know. It's not like a concert. But I do have to admit, I think one of my other favorites is Remy's Ratatouille Adventure. Oh, um, yes. I, it's just, it was surprising because that was actually one of my husband's favorite attractions at really? Epcot too. Um, but it just feels so cool to, you know, you're the size of a mouse mm -hmm. in a in the ride and you see all of these little details and I notice new little things. You know, you see what it feels like to be inside of a refrigerator or you see what Christmas lights look like to a mouse. It's just so much fun. It is a cute ride, but I'll bring you back to thrill rides because oh. I want to talk about one of my favorites, Test Track. Okay. I just really like that you get to build your own car and then test it out. You know, that is so much fun. But the inside of the attraction, all of the different scenes, yeah. there's one in particular that I really, really like. And it is where it looks like a forest and there's like twists and turns. Okay. It really looks like um, the town that I used to live in in Switzerland. Wow. wow. So every time I'm in there, That's I'm so like, neat. oh my God, it looks like Switzerland. <laughs> and my family loves it too. Oh, well, and speaking of different countries, you got to love walking around the World Showcase. There are 11 pavilions featuring different countries. Yeah. And it, oh, it almost reminds me of when I was an undergrad or grad school. I did a lot of international travel. And it's so cool to see all of these different, you know, some of my favorite countries, like, you know, bits and pieces of them, the culture, the food. And just to get to experience that is so wonderful. For example, you know, I got to see a mountain that I hiked in China in the China Whoa. Pavilion in 360. That's it just so brought cool. me back. It was so cool. Now, here's an important question. Where do you start? Well, and I, I, think, <laughs> I think I know. <laughs> I'm pretty partial to it, but I always start in Mexico because, you know, I have to. I know you do. I start in the UK because I go through the International Gateway entrance because usually we stay at the Epcot Resort. Yes. It's the perfect area to stay because we're always visiting the festivals. Um, and so you get to go in that entrance. It almost feels like a v VIP entrance. And so, you know, we love visiting the festival so much. There's the Flower and Garden, the Festival of Holidays, Food and Wine. You get to sample all the different foods. Um, and then Festival of the arts you get to see different artists there's something you know even though there are different focus areas for each of those festivals there's always something in terms of food to try uh cool craft beers uh and live entertainment it's awesome it i is know awesome. and just coming back to like the countries and how good it makes you feel to be in the World Showcase. I really like that all of the cast members that work at the pavilions in the World Showcase are actually from the countries. Yes. Right. And for me, as an international guest, as a Mexican, I really love going inside the Mexico pavilion and being like, yeah, this does feel like home to me. Oh, I love that. It's really cool. Yes. And I know you love, I mean, obviously you love visiting the Mexico pavilion, but you also love to eat around <laughs> Epcot. You were like my connoisseur for all the cool things to eat in that particular park. Tell us a little bit more about why you love it so much. Well, I just feel like food at Epcot is what makes that park different mm -hmm. from the others. Um, it's just so good. And all of the restaurants are amazing. Yeah. But there's one particular restaurant that I really, really like right now. I think it's my new favorite. Okay. It's Space 220. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yes. And <laughs> wow. I mean, the experience in that restaurant is amazing because you get to go in an elevator up 220 miles into space yes. and then look down and it's really great but the food wow it's so like, good 
out of this world again. <laughs> Amazing. I, I love the food in well, there. And it's so fun, too, when you sit in the restaurant and you look out the windows into space. There are little Easter eggs. For example, you can see some astronauts engaging in lightsaber battles or <laughs> dogs floating by in space. It's so fun. And, yeah, the food is awesome. But I have to admit, even though, you know, I'm a Walt Disney World Resort specialist, we visit the parks all the time. I haven't tried everything. Right? Yeah. You know, there's still something Same. new, something that, you know, I haven't even experienced yet. So one of the things on the, my bucket list is visiting Cava del Tequila to try out the tequilas and maybe even the avocado margarita. Um, and then, I don't know, you have a few other favorites, right? Yeah, well, I really like Tutto Gusto at the okay. Italy Pavilion. Yes. And it's not, well, I don't drink at all. Mm -hmm. So the only reason I go in there is because my dad really loves it and he's very into wine. But what I love about it is how immersed you feel. You literally feel like you're in Italy when you're in there. Wow, it's wonderful. amazing. All of the sounds everything's great i know i'm a bad mexican because i don't drink tequila or anything <laughs> else but like just being in there and sipping water i feel like i'm very bougie oh, when yeah. i do that <laughs> yes yes it's a wonderful another immersion it is where you can just feel like you are maybe in a different country or a different world i love epcot okay now, we've talked about all the amazing things we can do in Epcot during the day. Let's talk about how we can wrap up our day with something super special. Yeah, so Epcot Forever is one of my favorites, and it makes me feel so nostalgic because we yeah. would always go as a family to the Epcot fireworks and always scout out for the best spot looking at the fireworks. But there isn't a bad spot. They're right. all awesome, as long as you can see the center of that lake. And so the yeah. fireworks are amazing, too. Yeah, it is really good. And the music at Epcot Forever is really special to me. So Illuminations um. was my favorite and Tapestry of Nations as well. So the music is in there. And I remember as a little kid when they took me and my brother and we were the ushers of the Tapestry of Nations parade. Oh. So listening to that really makes me feel young again, like very young. That's oh, so I cute. Love that. I think we've talked a lot about Epcot. We, we gave your park some love. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I know. But let's hop. Let's hop over to another wonderful park, Animal Kingdom. I love the thrill rides in that park as well. Yes. Of course. One of my favorite ones has to be Expedition Everest. Yeah. Actually, I feel like that's my favorite in that park okay. in general. Um, I just love the big drop. The picture is right before the drop, by the way. Oh, so keep okay. that in mind for when you're riding it. But I just feel like you're actually in the Himalayas. All of the sounds are great. Then the big Yeti in there. Oh, my gosh. Awesome. But that's not the only thrill ride. I also really like Dinosaur. Okay, oh, that's yeah. a good one. It's a, it's a bumpy ride. <laughs> oh, but yeah. it's great for young adults because there's, like, lots of jokes in there, puns mm -hmm. that I know and love. So you get to bring back a dinosaur with you. And you get to say that's not our dino a couple of times. But it's really fun. I really love it. Are there attractions that you do love in Animal Kingdom Park that, you know, maybe they aren't as thrilling, but they're, they're really fun because we do get to see animals in that park too, right? Yes. I really, really love Kilimanjaro Safari. Yes. Oh my yeah. God, what a ride. It is so relaxing. It's so educational too. I love just riding and looking at the animals. I really like taking pictures, as you both know, mm -hmm. and videos. So when you're riding and then suddenly an elephant does something funny, because they do that, you know, they're pretty funny. Oh, yeah. So they'll just walk right by you and I'll take my phone out and take pictures and videos because they're just so cute. <laughs> I love it because you get to chill for a little bit mm -hmm. instead of just, you know, going, going, going. It's an amazing, beautiful ride. Yeah. It is. Speaking yeah. of beautiful, I can't believe we haven't talked about it yet. My favorite part is Pandora, the world of Avatar. Yes. It's such a beautiful area to walk around, especially as a marine biologist. I am so fascinated by all of the, you know, how it celebrates nature mm -hmm. and there's bioluminescence. Highly recommend visiting at night. You know, you see these amazing root structures that remind me of mangroves floating mountains. It's gorgeous. It is. It is so stunning. Um, and then I'll go over to Pangu Pangu and grab a Pangu Lumpia, which okay. I don't know if it's really breakfast, but it's it's like a spring roll filled with pineapple and cream cheese. It is so oh, delicious. If you do go back at night, Pangu Pangu also offers craft beers. And oh. so I 
go grab one of those and then walk around and see the bioluminescence when it's really uh, amazing. And then Flight of Passage is my favorite ride. And I know my dad, he said he never needs to go on another ride ever again because that ride is just so amazing. Oh, yeah. I feel like it's it's such a cool ride. How you get to ride on a banshee and feel it breathing. Yes. yes. So, so good. My boyfriend is obsessed with all things Avatar to the point where we saw the second movie dressed as Navi characters. Oh, my yeah. gosh. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. So I know you understand oh. that. And food-wise... I think that Satuli Canteen okay. is probably the best quick service restaurant in any theme park. Literally. So good. You get to build your own bowls, pick your protein, Ooh. maybe pick rice or noodles. And I feel like it's a good way to just fill up and walk around the theme parks. Yeah. Another good one is Nomad Lounge because that's an awesome spot. They have great craft beer selection there. And then you can sit by the water and you feel like you're almost in a local spot even though you were totally <laughs> surrounded in, you know, by the jungle. It's uh, thrilling. It's amazing. I really like that place too. They have really good churros. They I don't have know really good that. churros. Oh. I was just going to say, that's my churro place. It is. Every time. Oh my gosh, I love that. And then if you like fill up and eat maybe you would like to go see a show after yes, yes of course of course we would my favorite show festival of the lion King. yes oh. and i know you guys agree it's like a broadway style show but with acrobatics as well oh. which is really awesome and they've got really big animatronics my favorite one the huge simba oh. but it's just the music that we all grew up with and i think i don't know anyone who doesn't like the lion king no. So it's a really good show. Okay, now we've spent quality time in Animal Kingdom, but I think it's it's time for a little nostalgia. Yeah. Yes. So Magic Kingdom Park, you know, this is where my love of Disney began mm -hmm. for this nostalgia and the classics. But I'm going to start with thrill rides because I think my favorite part are the mountains, uh, Space Mountain, Big Thunder Mountain. They're so thrilling yes. even you know even though i've been riding them since i was a child i still want to go again and again um and then i cannot wait for uh my first time on tron light cycle run <gasps> presented by enterprise that no, looks incredible i've been dreaming about that ride ever since i saw the schematics in epcot uh for shanghai disney so i can't wait to go i know it looks really cool but i think what makes magic kingdom so well magical is how how immersed you feel and how much you feel like you're in the stories that you grew up with. Yes. So for me, the thrill ride that really speaks to my heart is Seven Dwarfs My Dream. Oh, yes. That so is such cute. a cute ride. Also very Instagrammable, by the way. <laughs> it's also pretty chill. So I like to go on it, especially at night. Sometimes when the fireworks are going off. Yeah. And yeah. it That's looks so amazing. But... At Magic Kingdom, which is actually my second favorite park. Okay. Fact, All right. Official. <laughs> official. <laughs> I am very into the classics. And my favorite classic has got to be the Haunted Mansion. Yes. Oh. I know that speech from the top. <laughs> and it's really funny because every single person I take on that ride, whether it's my dad or my boyfriend or my best friend, I'll be like, hey, hey. Welcome, foolish mortals. <laughs> I just love it so much. Oh, I feel like I'm that way with the Jungle Cruise, though. I just love all of the puns. I'm such a sucker for that. <laughs> I feel like every waterfall I see now, I'm always saying, and here's the backside of water. I, <laughs> I'm so silly. Um, but, and then there's also Pirates of the Caribbean. And ever since they've added the animatronics for Captain Jack Sparrow, I just love that ride and the fact that Walt was the one who originally created that ride it's so uh, yes as a big Disney history nerd that is my favorite part about Pirates of the Caribbean just knowing that Walt was behind all of it yes makes me feel so good but you know what I really like about Pirates the smell oh. I know I know that's weird well you two understand no me. we get no, you I yes. love it my grandma recently bought a candle and she lit it and suddenly there's this smell coming off of it. And I'm like, Grandma, that smells just like Pirates oh, of the Caribbean. And she's that. like, what? <laughs> I'm like, you wouldn't get it, but I get it. And that's enough. 
<laughs> now, are you ready to begin talking about oh. Happily Ever After? My favorite nighttime You said the magic words. <laughs> so good. Yes. I think so. My favorite way to view it, though, is uh, with the fireworks dessert parties. It's actually a really romantic way to watch the fireworks. Or we've uh, we visited after my sister's wedding, celebrated with a group of 20 of us at one of the fireworks dessert parties. And I, I looked around and just saw pixie dust in everyone's eyes. And they have um, champagne and they have non-alcoholic champagne too and all the desserts you will ever want. That show is so beautiful, isn't it? Mm -hmm. It really like it feels it feels like you're in the movies. Oh yeah. And it, it tugs at your heartstrings a little bit. I'm very into that show because it brings me back to really, really special memories for me. I did my Disney college program here oh. in 2019, so I got to watch that show quite a bit. Yes. And it reminds me of my best friends and all of those happy memories. Well, and I love, I can't wait to see the new projections down Main Street. Yes. There, you know, know, there's always a great spot, you know, no matter where you're standing. Yeah, you can't pick a wrong spot for that show. No, especially not now with all the projections. I've seen them. They are so beautiful. Oh. So that's a tip. It's like, see it in different spots. Yeah. Now, that's that's a pretty cool thing to do, especially if you're a young adult. Just hop back and forth and see it. Totally. It'd be really fun to do. 